quick note before we start. The game in the background this week is the game Snapshot that I will be talking about towards the end of the video. And it will work as this week's highlight, because it perfectly showcases a lot of the problems I had with the game. Thank you, let's go. Hello and welcome again for another episode of Backlog Weekly. So, what have we achieved since the last video in terms of progress? Quite a bit actually. Last weekend I decided to look into some arcade rations with barely any content for some easy beats, and I found even easier nullings instead. Except for Screamer, which I just barely managed to power through and beat. So, let's go through them really quickly. I started with World Rider Fever, which had no controls, not to mention the frame rate, which was horrible, and I just couldn't even bring myself to beat, uh, go through the first lap of the race, much less actually beat a cup or anything, so that was straight off to the nulling list. So I moved on to Power Slide after that, and that was barely any better, but I did manage to finish the first cup, uh, which was three races, and I quit out from the first race origin originally to change some video settings, which somehow just managed to skip the whole first race, so actually I only played through two races, and uh, I just didn't feel like I sort of felt like I beat it, but I didn't feel justified to mark it as a beaten, especially when I was like fourth or fifth or something in the final standing, so sod it. Then there was of course the Screamer that I mentioned, that I beat. It was six races I felt that there was just enough content to actually mark it as a beaten. And as a game it was completely average and forgettable. Except for the overly enthusiastic announcer that was for the first two races sort of funny, fun to listen to. And by the third race it just started sounding really, really <laughs> sarcastic. Because he was constantly shouting like, Way to go, champ! You're in the first place! And then you would, you know, lose your first place. Oh man, you blew it! What? What's the matter? Did the pressure get to you? It was like, you really started sounding like the most sarcastic and, you know, tired of his job person ever. And I also ended up hating that guy by the end of the game. <laughs> and that was all on Saturday. Sunday I tried a game called Mega Race which was quite an old racing game. And actually it wasn't even a racing game, it was more of a car game where you shoot every everything else. Your goal was rather not not to finish the race in first place, but to kill everyone in the race. Within the race. <laughs> so that was that was an interesting game. I had a bit of a problem with it first at first because the whole uh, at the start of the game it doesn't actually put any key bindings on. You have no controls if you don't mark them yourselves. So I didn't know that. I have never seen or heard about a game that does that. So I started the game, I started the race, just went for it and my car went immediately to the side, side rail, wouldn't get out of there. It apparently had some auto acceleration so it kept moving on, which is why I thought something was happening. Then I started trying to brake and I was like, this, ain't, this isn't braking, it's just gonna... Hugging the railing, moving on, I was like, completely uh, baffled about what was going on and I decided to just pretty much you know I restarted the game I looked into it a little bit more but my, basically I, I touched some buttons the buttons had no names on them either so you were completely like I hope this button isn't delete windows because <laughs> it doesn't say what it does so I clicked those around and I found the options when you notice that it doesn't have any key controls. I put those on and it was all, all fine and dandy. Then I actually sort of liked the game. It had sort of fun old FMVs. And the premise of the game is that you're in some sort of a reality TV thing. Trying to hunt some... What are they? Road gangs. Illegal road gangs or something like that. Criminal gangs essentially. And they just made it into a sort of a reality show where they... Take random people, try to kill them all. Of course, you know, you have a good chance of dying yourself in that. Or supposedly, no one actually attacked me in the whole game. It was really odd. The main problem ended up being that you get a limited amount of ammo. And by the end races, it it's not really enough <laughs> to actually kill anyone. 
Maybe that's something to do with playing on easy difficulty that it works like that. I don't know. I don't didn't care at that point. I was like, this is not gonna happen. I had a, my share of fun, more more fun with the other game than with the other games. Like I had 15 minutes of fun. I nulled the game, moved on. Well, the next game was Mega Race 2, and that was just back to power sliders, shitty controls, just barely playable, better than World Rally, World Rally Fever, but just barely. And graphics were just early 3D graphics, gray and mostly gray, and some brown, bit of a black and black <laughs> in somewhere in there. So it, it looked like shit, I didn't even finish the first race, couldn't be bothered. After that, during the week, from Monday through Wednesday, I actually played through a game that sort of has a beginning, middle and an end. <laughs> it was a puzzle platform called Snapshot. And that was a... That game had an interesting idea. It's basically you control a robot that has a, some sort of a camera built in it that can take things from the background or from the world and then move them around. You can take a picture of something, you sort of pick it up like that, then you can paste the picture. You can essentially cut and paste items with that camera thing. And it was really a nice, nice idea. And the real... It was sort of sort of odd to control some of this, because when you started, when you decided to paste the thing, it did give you a preview of the thing, and you could turn it around, which it didn't tell you in the game, but I noticed that when I was looking for how long the game is, I noticed that you can actually turn them around, turn the picture around, but you can't move it. So if the item you're supposed to place on a specific spot, spot is a little bit off, you know, you just... And you can't cancel it either, as far as I knew, so you just have to drop it, take a picture of it again, and, you know, better luck next time, essentially. The real biggest problem was the fact that it has rather floaty controls, and rather precise <laughs> platforming and most of the platforming is do it or die <laughs> it really has a lot of gaping <laughs> gaping chasms and lava pits and stuff you know half the time if you screw up a jump you die you will insta die and like I said when a lot of the stuff is really finicky and it takes a long time to set up things sometimes it even had like inbuilt things that you just have to wait for the game to do its own thing. You just had to wait for a minute before you could even try to finish the thing. So it ended up being like, you might waste five to ten minutes just setting up the thing, then miss one critical jump and insta die. You know, going further into it, that was really fucking annoying. <laughs> it made me dislike the game quite a bit. In the end, I feel like I could have enjoyed the game more if I wasn't in such a rush to beat it. Because then I, you know, setting things up and going for extra stuff would have actually been more interesting. You know, if I had, had time, it might have been a little bit nicer. But I had really nice graphics and the idea was good. So, you know, maybe, maybe they'll make a <laughs> sequel to it one day. Maybe that'll work properly. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? But I will say the ending was completely pointless. The ending was just completely pointless. I'm not gonna say what happened in it, but I can say that if you play that game, don't don't wait for anything amazing. <laughs> and that's about it. All throughout this week, I've also been playing Skyrim, and I've been enjoying Skyrim immensely. I just can't help but say it. it's it's the Elder Scrolls games for me, game for me. It's really a casual, have fun, pick a direction, run that way, see what you find, and. You don't have to worry about too many things. You don't have to worry about how you level up your character. Pick and pick and you know, combat skill every now and then. It'll be fine. And that's been all. That has been all I've been doing this week. Hope to see you next week and goodbye.